guys rc here episode 66 football manager 19 we are playing with barnett fc welcome back um you know i was noticing something on uh i was spot checking a couple of my videos so like the little green dots on my recording software i can see the green but when i watch it on video the green dots show up black i don't know why it might have something to do with my green screen, but I don't think so because my green screen only goes to right here. So it's not over far enough to even affect that column. So if you have any ideas why that might be affecting that way, let me know in the comments so I can try to fix that. Now, that you know, the, the field and everything shows up fine, the pitch. So not sure what's going on. All right, well, let's get into it. We've had a little bit going on. So we left off with the 3-1 defeat to Lincoln City in the replay of the FA Cup second round match. Uh, we played Chester. We got a 2-1 win. James Justin picked up a sweet brace for us. Scunthorpe, we got a clean sheet, 2-0 win. Jaden Bennett's got an early goal in the first minute. Freddie Madison Got a early second half goal. Barry Hicks sent off with a red card. Straight red. Uh, well, actually, no, it was a second yellow. My bad. Uh, in uh, the 87th minute. Wycombe, we beat 4-3. to three. Colin McElhaney scored a hat trick. Steven Dua, our right winger, got a goal as well for the game. And then uh, we gave up a 91st minute goal to make it close. Colchester, 5-3, another goal fest. Andy Simmons, Jaden Bennett, Freddie Madison, Efron, Mason Clark, and Stephen Broccoli. Uh, oh, also, after McElhaney scored that uh, hat trick, he was injured in that game and missed a little time. Stevenage, we settled for a draw. Adam Pete, Dion Pereira with goals. We were up 2-0. Two extra time goals. That sucked. Chesterfield, 4-3, to three. Andy Simmons, a uh, brace, Jordan Stevens, and Jaden Bennett's with goals. <sighs> Gave up one in the 81st, one in the 88th, and then we got the game winner in the 93rd. So I guess we got the payback for the Stevenage late goals. Coventry, a nil-nil draw, just uh, didn't play well. And we just lost to Bury. Uh, five to three. Uh, we have been leaking goals pretty badly. Uh, I mean, three, three, two, three, zero, five. We've been giving up goals at a rapid clip. Uh, we had two players play sixes. I was not happy. Um, but that's where we are. If we take a look at the competition, we're in sixth position, three points clear uh, in the playoffs still, 10 points off the lead now. And you can see we were up as high as third at one point. So we're still, you know, we're still certainly in this. 30 matches. How many do we play? I don't remember. 46. We have 16 matches left. Man, some of these are just long seasons, aren't they? Long seasons. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's look at the transfers as well. Uh, we have a contract offer out for Joe Anderson, a uh, left back. We hope he accepts it. Uh, that would be our last transfer. Those guys are coming in into the season. We've made some moves. We've done some business. Uh, and not all of it was, was, was fun. Uh, Frank Shuttleworth went out on loan. Tony Blanchett went out on loan. No big deal there. Stephen Broccoli, our team captain, we sold him to Sheffield United, $64,000. He wasn't giving us any problems. He just wasn't going to re-sign his contract. And so we put him on the market. We got an offer. And uh, so we got some value for him. Reese Deacon was a striker up top. He was number three in the depth chart, but... Our number four guy, I felt, could be our number three guy, and we wouldn't lose anything. We got a decent offer for him, fifty-two thousand. Uh, Ephraim Mason Clark, thirty-one thousand. We moved him on. 
uh, Billy Clark we sent out on loan, and Terry Nightingale, one of our young players, a young prospect, we sold for potentially seventeen thousand dollars. He was valued at about nine. Um, probably shouldn't have traded him, but uh, if we look at him, his pace. I just didn't like his pace. I didn't think he would ever be developed enough there and while he's pretty good in other categories i just didn't see that getting any better so that is that uh alex i Aya, Kaviti came to from salford for forty three thousand dollars um we may have already looked at him i don't think so but he is a uh center back i just think he's beastly problem is he's not playing real well so he played a 6.2 against uh, Barnett, against Bury, a um, what's that? A 6.5 against Coventry, a 6.9 against Chesterfield, and then a 6.3. Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Four matches in, I mean he's and he's playing a 6.47, five fouls, 60% passing. 100% tackling or one tackle a game, one yellow. Just need to need to see a little more out of him. I think I think he's got the goods. You just haven't seen it yet, right? Uh, and then Courtney Senior, we just signed him basically because we got rid of Mason Clark, midfielder, and uh, Broccoli. I did want another mid, uh, another. Well, I needed another winger. Dua is our primary winger, so C Courtney Senior is uh, is going to be uh, back up in the rotation. Uh, very pacey. Uh, he's got solid technicals for the crossing and everything else. Determination. He's got some flair off the ball. So composure. So I like a lot of what he's bringing to the table. Uh, but he'll be off the bench for us. So, and again, other than that, Joe Anderson. Joe would be, if he signs, uh, I think he would become our starting left back uh, immediately. But we'll see. So, I also think a few of these guys are going to be okay. Just we need some, we need some time to get them acclimated, I suppose. So, salaries n not affected a lot. We are down to one point. Uh, well, we're at one point six, so we're three hundred thousand under the payroll. Uh, we have a hundred thousand in transfer, which we're not using. Um, and you can see we're about fifty thousand short, even with the sales and purchases. That's about where we're going to be, uh, you know, so we, we're good here. I think we can make money in the preseason, but let's get to the match today. All right, we're home. We're favored. There is a slight drizzle, uh, so I want to go here. All right, and we are going to put senior. He can play left. He can. Uh, Pereira. Pereira must be, oh, he's injured. Full fitness immediately. Jordan Stevens is also out. Uh, he got hurt. Uh, he's been out for quite a while. He'll be out for almost three months. Um, Spooner. He's on loan. Heading. I don't know. Let's see. Neil. Let's put uh, let's put Spooner. Let's put Spooner in here. Where is Spooner? Spooner, there you are. All right, we're going to put Spooner there. I'm going to give him a start. Ayakaviti, I we're going to put to the bench. I still think he's going to be our best starter quality player. But 
just need him need him to realize he just can't do whatever he wants, right? Morgan Davis, he hasn't played a lot for us. Rob Hall. Yeah, don't like him as much. Let's go ahead and give Senior the start. I think we'll be all right there. Dua, Pete, Justin. Do have Wilson up top. Who is uh, Madison? And Bennett's. Sammy White, passing, first touch. He's one of our younger players. Bennett's. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Courtney Sr. So he could actually play up there as well. There was somebody else that I was McElhaney. There he is. Yeah, he's he's our striker. He's that striker that scored a hat trick. He's got 14 finishing. Composure's 11. And you know what? He He's actually our player. So if I put him up top, then who could I put here? Stevens is out. I've already got Pete. I'm going to put Christoffi in here. Christoffi hasn't gotten a lot of game time. I think he's got some ability. But then I want... I want Wilson down here. Where is Wilson? Wilson! There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and submit that. We'll go with it. Oh, I've got six lone players. Bummer. All right, one. You know what I want to do? Right there. Boom. Now, will that still work? No, I can't even have him on the bench. Well, actually, I want him on the bench. I don't mind going. All you with me, I need to get him some playing time. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That is the problem all right then we're gonna take Madison off and we're gonna put Rob Hall there we go decisions decisions man this is why they get paid the big bucks prove a point today All right, we are in the yellow, York in the white. A deep ball over the top. Get creative. Oh my God. Poor positioning, he just fluffed at it with his left hand. Of course, our three defenders didn't help either. Look at this. We got three guys on him. Every, everybody's to the off goal side of him. Nobody's, nobody's protecting the goal. I mean, basically, he had a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. That's just poor defense, guys. Poor defense. In fact, what are we looking at here? Uh, tighter marking. Standard line. I'm okay with that. Not good. All right, there's a hoof out. Some quick tick attack passing. Oh, oh, Dua tried to get the ball. Oh, good save. Knocked it away at least. Ugh. Come on, boys. All right, head it out. Dua controls it up the sideline. Oh, tackled away. 
All right, our ball though. Awaniwi, senior. First highlight with him. Spooner tried to head it in. Goldward. All right. Christoffi, second yellow of the season. We're doing well. Seven shots on target. Oh. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wasn't that Courtney Sr. out here? How did he push another player? Oh, that's bullshit. How, he, there was nobody out there for him to push, was there? I mean, Spooner or somebody in the box, maybe. Push forward. All right, they've come back with up to seven shots. We're controlling possession. Uh, let's go... I'm going to switch over to here. Now, Bennett's... Can we switch those guys? I mean... Eh... Yeah. We'll keep him there. We'll keep him there. Let's give that a try. Uh, prove a point. Avoid a yellow. Avoid a yellow. All right. Senior's going to end up being an early sub, I think. He's anxious. Let's go ahead and sub him out for Wilson. Wilson. Okay. Here we go. Wilson. Oh, so close. Anybody playing utter shit? Man, McElhaney's not playing great. You know what? I'm going to swap those two guys. And... I'm sitting here noticing. Well... Spooner. Spooner's playing okay. Let's bring Aya Cavetti in for, uh, for Pete. See if he can perform. You know, I haven't played him. He's been playing that center mid, that center back position. Demand more. So he's really never played higher up. Um, Justin. Yeah, Billy Bailey. There we go. All right, we need this, fellas. I would need we. Oh, penalty! And McElhaney's going to take the penalty. Good cross into the box. Come on. Come on. Oh, easy as you please. Right down the gut. Seventh goal of the season. And when he, he scored that hat trick, he was like a one-in-one -one guy for a little while. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, we're going to keep it up. 18, 18. Oh, come on. Oh, was there another penalty? Uh, What happened? Did our guy push? Yeah, I guess our guy pushed. Oh, well. All right, we'll take the draw. That's okay, especially for a team like York City that's that's near the top of the table. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we'll try that. Transfer window is going to close, so I hope we can sign that one player that we've got an offer out on. Uh, let's see. Barnett rescue a late draw. Well, York's actually behind us. Yeah. All right, well, let's come back. Uh, let's see, we're at 19 minutes. 
So, yep, we'll come back for the next match, which will be Burton Albion 17th in the table. See you guys in a second. Well, the left back that we were in for signed elsewhere. And then we were left with a trade day deadline. And we put an offer on a guy, made him a contract offer, and then he never responded before the deadline so he is actually still showing up here mj williams i was going to take a flyer on him but being that he has not responded i'm not going to sign him now um so yeah anyway just a uh, little disappointed let's get into today's match we have lost three of five to burton we are supposedly favored today there is sleet I want to look at something here real quick. Favored with Sleet. I'm going to go with this. I want to put pick without restriction. And then see, that's one, two, three. Okay, so that's only three people. Madison is ineligible. Oh, that's his parent club. That's why. Costello is unregistered. He's 21. Is he on loan? Oh, he's on loan at Cheshire. Let me let me take that out. Uh, da, 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 da. Not at club. There we go. That'll help us out a little bit. I actually added in my U23s just, just so I could see, you know, they would be part of the mix in case we needed some depth or anything. In fact, let's go ahead and undo them. And then let's repick this. Y'all quit the fighting. One, two, three, two. All right, so that's five. Madison's ineligible, so he would be in the mix. Herrera's back from his injury. Wilson McElhaney. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Herrera's lacking match sharpness. He's missed a while with injury. That's to be expected. Uh, encourage. Give a morale boost. Can we change our kits? Those yellows look. It just reminds me of New Iberia Senior High when I was in high school years and years and years and years and years ago. <laughs> All right. Awaniwi up to Pete. Crosses it out to Justin, making a run into Wilson. He takes a shot. Justin comes back and controls it. Squares it to Awaniwi in the middle. Lays it up to Pereira. Justin. Oh, who was that not making a run up there? Dua. Dua did not make the run. There's a cross. Awaniwi heads it up to Pereira. Hicks, Pete, a lot of ball control here. Justin, crossed in, headed by McElhaney, his eighth goal of the season. So since we got rid of, um, oh crud, what was his name? Um, I forget now, the, the, number three, the, the number three in the depth chart striker. I showed you guys a minute ago. You should remember, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, McElhaney has looked really good. Was there not a penalty there? Dua, Justin. Oh, back into Pereira. He scores number six. And we're up 2-0, and we're only nine minutes into the match. Looking good, boys. Two shots, two on target, two goals. Got to like that. I'm just going to kind of keep my hands off. All right, Awaniwi, a potential lower leg injury. All right. Oh, Dua with the steal. Oh, he's showing some pace. Bringing it up into the middle. Oh, taken down in the box. Shot. Pereira with a brace on the day. Some nice ball movement there, boys. Connor McElhaney 
with the nice little cheeky assist. Look at that. Just he cut it inside to give people space. Knocked away. Oh, just a little rear pass to Pereira. Puts it away in the corner of the net. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and make that sub now. Um, we're going to bring Bill ba Billy Bailey on. Billy. All right. Dronfield. Fox. Oh, not the best pass. Good reversal. Blocked. Defense steps in. Good save by the keeper. I want to start giving this keeper some more playing time because he is our guy. Whereas the... Uh, well, I didn't even see who hit that. That was a little quick ding-dong pass. Shot. Thingamajigger. Um, get on him. Get on him. Uh, good steal by Simmons. He plays it up to Wilson. Uh, Wilson banks it off of an opposing player. All right, Powell. Dua, Justin. Uh, nice ball out to Wilson. Wilson holds it up, and he just launches one. I got it, boss. I got this. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, halftime, eight to six. All right, excellent efforts. Watch your book. Watch your footing. Same for you. Play it calm. Hopefully, the injury there is not too bad. Not expecting much here on the kickoff highlight, but you never know, Bailey. All right, well, Pereira into the mixer. Goes through everybody. Uh, nobody breaks on the ball. They've got a big counter opportunity. Look back here. Look back here. Harper. Oh, off the woodwork. Simmons gets back in time to clear it off. Keeper made a nice layout. He was up against the post. I don't. That would have been close. Ah, uh, offsides. Yes. Of course he was offsides. Oh, yeah, there were two of them offsides. Thank you. Our guys were like, go ahead, knock it in, buddies. All good. All right, how are we doing? 76% for Dua, 77% for Herrera. Pereira. Uh, there. Oh, God, that sh ah, Come on. <laughs> All right, some good shots. Good saves by the keeper. We're looking good, though. We're looking pretty, pretty good today. All right, head it out. Pete corrals it. Lays it back to Justin. Oh, taken away by Harper. Harper's on a breakaway. One on one. First goal of the season. We're 30 matches in. Hello. Oh my God. All right. Um, complacent. Let's give, uh, da, 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 da. let's give Courtney senior another run here on the right side, which is his more natural position. Concentrate. Oh, they're overwhelmed. Oh my God, he wants us to concentrate. All right. I believe I'm going to bring Spooner in to get the yellow card off in that center back line. It looked like a few things happening there. All right, Bailey, McElhaney, headed back to Bailey. Crossed in, knocked out. Harper. 
You got... Oh, he takes one from way downtown. He must be a fan of uh, baseball, you know, where chicks dig the long ball. That's what I'm thinking. Because he took that one from out near midfield. <laughs> All right, three to one. We will take that win. Excellent efforts. Good job. Let's go ahead and finish the day. We did end up taking a pretty hefty loss, about $40,000 last month. All right, superior finishing. All right, one to two days, a tight cap. All right, we got off with that one. Uh, Pereira, two goals. Four shots on target. And Williams. See, now he wants to sign. Well, he can actually join right now, but the problem is I don't believe I can. All right, he's a free agent, so we might be able to sign him anyway. Let's go ahead and accept it. And then let's see if we can register him. All right. Yes, it looks like we can. All right. Welcome him to the club. Assign a squad number. He gets number 19. And register. Let's see if it will let him. Yes, it will. Awesome. All right. So where are we at? So we're back up to fifth. 54 points, only three points off automatic promotion, only four points out of the playoffs, <laughs> but we are only supposed to be avoiding relegation. So again, no matter what happens, we're 24 points clear of relegation. So no matter what happens, I think we are actually in good standing we will meet the, the expectations. Board confidence is high. So where, where do we come back at? We are in the latter half of the season. So at this point, I really kind of want to finish the season and just get it done with and see where we end up at. So I'm just going to kind of use, you know, use my YouTube intuition, uh, which is worthless. Uh, we're, I'm just going to play ahead as, for a while. And basically what I'm looking for is either for us to get up into the automatic promotion range or be on the verge of dropping out of the playoffs one way or the other. So what I'd, what's, what's going to likely happen is we'll come back somewhere in the middle of this, around, say around Billickery town and forest green or we end up going all the way to the end and just coming back for salford and chester see how we finish up the season and then get you know if we're in the playoffs uh, excuse me if we're in the playoffs then go ahead and deal with the playoffs in additional episode hopefully uh from that point we are on a good run. We had a nice unbeaten run going on here, going all the way back to November 25th up until that loss to Bury. So anyway, that's kind of the game plan. So if, if uh, you know, it may be the final two games of the season. It may be somewhere up in, up in this area just to get a match in if, you know, if things are looking sketchy or real positive. So I guess you'll just have to see when I come back. But that'll be for next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to pound that like button. Hit the subscribe with the little bell notification so you get the updates uh, when I have new episodes coming up. And we will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.